it ruined everything that I was and everything that I had got like for me. Three people killed in just four days. As experts warn the Lower Mainland's gang conflict is heating up, a former member of the Hells Angels and an ex-gang leader are speaking up. My heart is broken. After spending a decade as a member of the Hells Angels, Joe Calandino now works to try and prevent kids and youth from joining gang life. He's beside himself as he hears of at least five gang-related murders in the last two weeks and points to the isolation the pandemic has brought as only adding fuel to the deadly fire. It comes down to supply and demand, right? And these kids are isolated nowadays, right? And the opportunity to run free, you know what I mean? And get out there and be connected to that group that thinks you you know, you think they have your back. On Saturday, 28-year-old Dilraj Johal was shot in a condo near Lansdowne Road and Number 3 Road in Richmond. He later died from his injuries. Last Thursday night, 29-year-old Anes Mohammed was killed at Richmond Steveson Community Park. The day before, a 24-year-old Gary Kang was shot at his home in Surrey. These three homicides come after two teenagers were killed in two separate targeted shootings over a 24-hour period in Surrey late last month. One of the victims was 14 years old, and he was shot as he got out of a taxi. Calandino says since his departure from gang life, he's noticed recruitment ages have lowered substantially. With a 14-year-old, which is absolutely appalling as far as I'm concerned, that is not okay. Not now, not ever, and even in my previous life, that is not something that would even enter your mind, your mindset. I seen it coming. I mean, when I was a, when I was a part of all of that, it was that it just kept getting younger and younger. Ex-gang leader Stan Price also now works as a youth advocate. He says the recruitment of younger and younger gang members was what ultimately pushed him to change his life in 2017. Now reflecting on his own children, he is a message for parents. Spending time with your kids, even if it's just the simplest, you know, go for a drive in the car. Just the simple paying attention, like expressing interest in what, what these kids are doing. Right. And, you know, like giving them a proper guidance, it's the small things that would count for for any child. Anyone with information regarding the recent gang activity in the lower mainland is asked to contact police or anonymously through Crime Stoppers. In New Westminster, Ashley Burr, City News.